Hey everyone, so I'm gonna be showing you how I fixed my plumbing issue from my toilet, not flushing, to running slow, to not flushing again, to overflowing, then it backing up in my bathtub, and then whenever my washing machine would drain, which is in the same room, it would make everything overflow even more. Uh, full disclosure, I'm doing a voiceover because it took me several different things to try before I realized what my actual issue was. So that's why I'm doing the voiceover. So as you can see, I just tried to flush the toilet. You can see it's completely clogged. Um, for the past, I'd say three or four days before this, it was running slow and then we would plunge it and then it would be okay and now it's completely clogged. So coming over here to my washing machine, anytime the washing machine would empty, you can see the hose right here the suds in the water would back up from the hose and it would just leak all down my wall. It actually ended up, I'm assuming, going underneath the floor and leaking into my basement because the main line was clogged and the water didn't have anywhere to go. So I'm gonna show you a clip of where it was leaking in my basement as well. Okay, so at this point, we didn't know it was the main line that was the issue. So we're trying everything from snakes, which you will see, chemicals, plunging, you name it. And we're just trying it. Um, the orange stuff, as you can see, is insulation. I live in cold weather in the winter, so that's just all insulation to block out the cold. Um, then this is just a video showing the rest of the pipe. So let me show you what we did next. Okay, so we did buy a toilet auger. This is a three foot toilet auger. And then we also bought this 25 foot power pistol grip drum auger. We, we didn't have a... Um, power drill which you can attach this to which i'm sure would make it much easier but we bought it because we were desperate so here you see us trying to do the toilet auger and at first i didn't realize why would you buy this it's much shorter than the other one but the reason is because you can see this little encasement on it it gives you like the force to go up into the back of the toilet whereas the other one doesn't because it doesn't have like this little piece on it obviously this is an unprofessional video and i recommend hiring a plumber we just literally did not have that option we did not have the money we don't even have the credit to you know put anything on so we were genuinely desperate and had to figure it out ourselves but <laughs> i don't necessarily recommend that but I'm just showing you what we did and it did work. Um, also, another full disclosure is it did take us several days and it's not that we went without plumbing, like the toilet occasionally would flush after trying several times, but then it would always just either back up or just go really slow again. So we feel like doing all, and I'm gonna show you at the end of the video what actually ended up working, but we feel like doing the snakes we ended up replacing the toilet wax seal, which I have another video on. Uh, we did the chemicals and we did um, we did a wet shop vac. We did the hose down the middle. We did so many things. So we feel like everything else that we did probably helped break up the clog. But you will see here very shortly what the number one thing is that just you know, did it all and it let everything run smoothly. And I'm so glad that I'm just doing this um, voiceover because it's just hilarious hearing me talk. Like I keep thinking at this point that we're getting it and then it'll flush once or twice. I'm like, yeah, we got it, but we didn't end up getting it. So I'm hoping this video helps at least one person. Okay, so at this point, we just took the toilet completely off. Of course, we shut the water off and everything and um, the auger wasn't working the chemicals didn't work and since I do have a two-year-old I thought oh well maybe he put a car down the toilet and tried to flush it and he does love flushing the toilet so I had never seen him actually do this but just in case we took it off and you see right there where the um, end of the toilet is that circle I know that that's where a car usually would be if you had a toddler <laughs> throw a car down there. 
So I just wanted to double check and then we even put the auger through um, whenever there was no water in it. There was no toy car or anything in there. So I was relieved. Right here you can see the hole in and like I said, another video shows where we replaced the wax seal. Um, here you're just seeing the hole in, in the floor basically and you can see some water coming up. Now we were testing it at this point to see if we got it fixed. We were hoping that we got it fixed. You see how the suds are coming up? That's because the laundry, um, the washing machine was draining. And you can see we obviously didn't fix the clog because we didn't know it was in the main line yet at this point. And you see how it's coming up. And I'm like, oh, that that's it's better. It's not overflowing yet. Well, that's still not good. That's still not what's supposed to happen. Um, again, why I'm doing this voiceover. So let me show you the next thing we did. Okay, so at this point, we're putting the toilet back on. Make sure when you pick up a toilet, you pick it up right here in the middle between the bowl and the tank because you don't obviously want to drop a, porc a porcelain toilet. That wouldn't be good. Um, you can see we did end up putting the new wax seal on here, uh, but that's in another video. It just really wasn't relevant. Even though the wax seal did need changed, that isn't what was causing our clog problem so we're putting the toilet back on because we realize there's nothing specifically wrong with the toilet itself okay so now for the fun stuff as you can see we were outside on the side of the house and it's just the way the pipes are just oh, whatever anyways you can see how there's all this disgusting toilet paper overflowing now you can't see that right whenever we walked out because there's a cap on top you see that cap to the right that cap was on top so what we first did was put the 25 foot snake down tried to do that like i said i do think that probably ended up doing something because it's completely fixed now like 100% I realize now what to look for and you will see that in a few minutes here um, but over here you can see how there's even toilet paper in here this is the pipe going out to the street now like completely leaving our house obviously you see this first pipe is right by the house and then that other pipe goes right out to the street so and you can also see not just the toilet paper but you see the water in there so we try to do this literally for several hours. Um, it's like, uh, it's kind of working. Uh, this is me. I just <laughs> had a random stick because I'm like, oh, let's just get the toilet paper out because I really know what I'm doing, you know. Uh huh. So I'm just scraping out the toilet paper with a stick. Yes, I know. Like, hire a plumber. Um, <laughs> but here's us again. I mean, like I said, we just... <laughs> We're just trying everything at this point um, we're just snaking it again but you can see how the water's just sitting in there which is not supposed to happen and we didn't realize that water isn't I know this is probably obvious to some people but we didn't realize oh if any water is in this pipe at all there's still a huge issue <laughs> we're like oh it's it's going down a little bit we're good we're good um <laughs> So you just see us messing with this. And I mean, like I said, we were doing it for days and days. But I think all in all, we spent $20 total and we fixed it ourselves. So let me show you what we did next. Okay, so as you can see, it is the next day. We did put the cap back on because it was just nighttime. So here we are about to tackle the problem again. Didn't know that we were going to fix it yet at this point. So we take the cap off. The toilet paper isn't there because we had already removed it, but toilet paper was there and there was still water in the pipe at this point. Um, you can see the toilet paper around the sides, like the remnants. If you see that, yeah, there's it's probably a problem. Okay, so what we did was we got a wet dry shop vac and we were suctioning out the um, pipe. We were even using a hose at one point to kind of just put water down there and then we were suctioning it out, trying to break up the clog. We would shoot the water down with the hose, do the wet shop vac. I mean, we went back and forth. We probably did that like, I don't know, 10, 20 times just over and over and like I said I really think that 
every little piece of what we did helped the problem. But if you can't guess what actually fixed the problem, can you tell? There was a clue there. <laughs> right here, this really cheap plunger was 5 to $6. Look what we did. This is literally what we did. We did this a couple times and then we heard like this huge, like, like this gulp sound and then water just got sucked down. And look at this, completely bone dry, not any water. Of course, it's going to be wet, like way at the bottom, but no water whatsoever. Okay, I had to show that running water because at this point we were so excited. So that first one was obviously the main line. And then that one right there that I just showed you, that's the line uh, that goes right down to the street to the main water line. Um, and then here's the first one again. And as you can see, flowing water. This is what it is supposed to look like. No standing water. Okay, so this is literally after everything we have been trying for quite a long exhausting process this is really what seemed to do it this was like five six dollars at the store this was one of the cheaper plungers you can see it's like a generic no name it feels really cheap and plasticky <laughs> this is called the master plunger model mp500 <laughs> um but i'll tell you it worked it worked here is the inside just completely hollow inside but look you hear that i mean this is literally what it ended up doing it i'm sure everything else we did probably helped but this was the last thing we needed because it, it would work, then it wouldn't. Our toilet would flush, then it wouldn't. And then we used this with everything else I showed you. And that was it. Then it was just good. So again, like I said, I do not recommend <laughs> doing this on your own. But um, if you literally have no money and you really need to do it on your own i mean i don't know this is what we did and it actually worked so thank you for watching please share the video um it is not professional and it is not recommended but uh it worked so had to share it <laughs> thanks for watching